It's Morphin Time! We're here at Power Morphicon 2014. I'm here with Karen Ashley, who is Aisha. Yes. The second Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. Thank you very much for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Hello, comics uh, online. <laughs> the internet will know. It's okay. Yes, yes. That's, what, that's why we bring this, just so we can remember. Hello, internet world. So, playing the second Yellow Ranger, stepping into some very big shoes. Absolutely. Uh, can you talk about your experience and, and really when you knew this was going to be a big thing? Well, you know, the funny thing is, I don't know where I had been, you know, prior to getting the part, but I must have been under a rock. But I, I got the role as Aisha, and then they told me I was going to be the Yellow Ranger. And then I was just like, oh, my God, because I started to watch the show and realized it was the number one kids show in America. And prior to that, I didn't know anything about it. So, of course, I watched it, and I was like, oh, my gosh. And I found out she was so beloved. Uh, everyone loved Trini, so I thought immediately, I was like, okay, you gotta do it different, you gotta be sassy, you gotta just bring your own thing. I was a little nervous, but then when I decided, you know, I'm gonna do my own thing, I think that's when the nerves went away, and I said, you know what, I got this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. So. When was the moment that you knew, though, like, as far as it, 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 it being, huge? yeah, yeah, what, whether it was before you joined or after, I mean, it was, was it a after, you? definitely, but the moment it hit me was when we, the movie came out, we did a huge premiere at Man Chinese Theater, and we actually did the hand and footprint, um, right there where, you know, everybody who's anybody has done the hand and footprint, and I mean, there were a sea of people, and a sea of paparazzi, oh. and I was like, oh my gosh, we've done it, and then we did, like, the Today Show, we did Kathy Lee and Regis, I mean, we were just, like, all over, and I was like, we're, like, famous, <laughs> this is huge, so... That was when it hit me. Well, you start into the show in season two, and then yes. you get to do a movie pretty much right away. Immediately, yeah. We literally had got on the show, and we did maybe, we had like two months, so they tried to do 20 episodes in like two months, which is like unheard of, but we did it. And then they flew us to Australia, and we were there for six months working on the movie. And your characters got to be kids while you're away, and you have alien ranger step in. Exactly. They had to be creative because the reality was they, they needed to keep shooting the show. Back then, the show came on every day. So it was like but we were behind the eight ball the minute we stepped on set. We just did not have enough episodes. So. Can you talk about filming the movie in Australia? And yes. Any, any memories that come to mind specifically? It was just so beautiful. It was the first time I'd ever been out of the country. All of us, really. I don't know that anybody had really been out of the country before. So it was just amazing. It was a beautiful country. And we were there, literally, we were supposed to be there three months. We ended up being there six months. So we were there for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, you know, every holiday you can think about we were there so it was tough because we were away from our family but I just remember how beautiful it was how nice the people were and I mean I was I, I was like 17 gonna be 18 years old and it was like who wouldn't wish for that well the longevity of the show uh, I think is definitely uh, amazing, you know, amazing. <laughs> but also uh, a testament to the work that you guys did in the early seasons yes. um, what is it like for you coming now to an event like this where you've got thousands of fans lined up just to meet the original Rangers? You know what, it's, it's like stepping back into time because they come and it's like the excitement is there. It, it, the, the look in their eyes is the same look in their eyes when the movie came out. So it's amazing. They share their stories with us and they're so kind and so sweet and they're just they're just really, really cool people, and they've become really cool adults, and now they have their kids watching the show, and so we owe all the show's success to them, because there's no way this show would have lasted 20 years without them. Well, now that the series is available so easily for fans to watch yeah. for Netflix and from Shout Factory, um, have you gone back and watched any of your original episodes? You know what? I, I've seen a couple because my nephews, who are uh, seven, going to be eight, they were really into Power Rangers, and especially one of them. He used to go, when I'd call, he'd be like, is this my aunt that's the Power Ranger? And where are your friends? So he obviously loved the show and would, like, wouldn't go to bed without watching it. So when I went to visit him, I would have to kind of lay there and watch it with him. And it was, it was like an out-of-body experience because half of it I didn't even remember doing, you know. And, and some of it I was like, oh, my God, you know. That's just, it brought back such memories, you know, so much fun. One of the things we've noticed uh, at Morphicon is that everyone's ringtone is the communicator oh, beep. Oh man, I've heard that all day. It's like all weekend. That's all you hear, like just faintly in the background. Do you it's reach like for your wrist? No, no. No, you don't just go, yes, Lord. I Sometimes I do because then that'll make them go crazy when you react to it. But it's like the soundtrack to, to the to Power Morphicon. You hear those ringtones. <laughs> well, what are you working on now? Well, I've got a web series called Uncensored Talk. 
and you can find it on YouTube. It's My Uncensored TV. And I've actually, the first couple guests that I've had have been Rangers. I, I've gotten on the convention circuit and I'm literally going around the country. And one day I was sitting there going, I'm on the road with like some really cool people. So I started interviewing Rangers. I've interviewed some people from Star Trek. I mean, I'm just kind of making my rounds and it's been amazing. Well, when you have you know, a plethora of talent available to right. you, why not? You know, make like, use of it. Like, literally, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, that, that, that's like one of my heroes. Like, I grew up watching you. Like, the way that they act towards us, I act towards them. So, I was like, I'm going to sit down because they've got really interesting lives. And, and, and it's such a, a, a interesting world to kind of go from city to city doing conventions. So, I made some great friends. Well, a lot of your fellow Ranger actors have just rejoined the convention circuit recently. Austin yeah. St. John. We have Austin St. John, Walter Emanuel Jones, and David Yo sitting right across from us. Narvi's over here. We just talked yeah. to him. So it's really great for us to see you guys so yeah. active with the fan base. And you know what's so cool is that all of us have the same agent. So we've literally, like, I didn't really, I had never met Austin. We did a convention together. That's how we kind of met. And Walter, obviously, we weren't on the show together. He had left the show by the time I got on. But it's like these guys have become my brothers, you know. And it's like once you're a power ranger, you're just kind of in the family. It's like a sorority or fraternity. You're just in, you know. So it's cool. Well, speaking of your character. Yes. What do you think happened to her after she left? Oh, I would hope she became like something really fabulous, like she, an ambassador, you know, uh, of world peace or something. Um, but I don't know. I, I think Aisha's making somebody smile, she's making somebody laugh, and, and she's definitely having some fun. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's really yeah. been a pleasure speaking with thank you. Thank you. And stay tuned for more Power Morphicon coverage at Comics Online. Comics Online!